Afghanistan Guard boss stops over Taliban assault on armed force base U.S. cautions of another extreme year. Kabul Afghanistan's safeguard priest and armed force head of staff surrendered on Monday after the deadliest Taliban assault on an army installation, and U.S. Defense Secretary Jim Mattis said he was under no fantasies about the issues confronting the nation. Mattis going to as the United States hopes to create another Afghanistan procedure, held converses with Afghan President Ashraf Ghani, authorities and U.S. administrators, who need more troops 2017 will be another intense year for the valiant Afghan security powers and the worldwide troops who have stood, and will keep on standing, shoulder to bear with Afghanistan against psychological oppression, Mattis said. General John Nicholson the head of U.S. and global strengths in Afghanistan, said he was not disproving reports that Russia was offering help, including arms, to the Taliban. A senior U.S. military official, talking on state of namelessness, told columnists that insight demonstrated Russia was giving cash and assault rifles to the Taliban. Illustrative picture AP Russia has already denied giving any material or money-related guide to the extremist gathering, however has said it keeps up ties with Taliban authorities to push for peace talks. Moscow has been reproachful of the United States over its treatment of the war in Afghanistan. Mattis touched base in Kabul days after a Taliban strike on a noteworthy armed force base in the northern city of mazar i sharif in which more than 140 Afghan officers were killed. Afghan authorities said the last loss of life was probably going to be higher. Prior. Ghana's office reported in a post on its Twitter account that Defense Minister Abdullah Habibi and Army Chief of Staff Kadam Shah Shayim ventured down with quick impact. Shah Hussein Mortazawi, acting representative for Ghani, disclosed to Reuters the abdications were a direct result of Friday's assault. Habibi and Shayim told columnists their acquiescences were intentional. Regardless of his acquiescence, Habibi who had gone under weight from Afghan administrators a month ago after an Islamic State assault on a Kabul military doctor's facility attended a meeting with Mattis at the home office of the NATO drove military coalition in the Afghan capital. Dangerous assault in a genuine security disappointment on Friday, upwards of 10 Taliban warriors, wearing Afghan armed force regalia and driving military vehicles 